Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. In module, module 6 we will look at some of the most relevant ethical and legal aspects of uh, using information and we will structure the module in these three uh, elements. So we will first look at the ethical part and uh, understand what uh, actually a deontology is and then we'll go to the legal aspects so about the intellectual property rights or copyright uh, legislation and then to the last point which is academic plagiarism. Uh, as mentioned we'll start by the deontologies. Uh, deontologies is basically a set of standards or rules that guide us uh, ethically in any field. So our research deontology sets the, the, the rules, the guidelines, uh, ethical guidelines for us to follow. There's many examples uh, that we'll see in the module, but for example on a European level we have the European Code of, uh, code of Conduct sorry, for Research Integrity from the European Science, Science Foundations and the All European Academies. These deontologies are important to follow first to be ethical, but also because they are many times the basis of national or, re or regional uh, legislation. In the second part of, of the module, we will go to, the, to one example of uh, intellectual property rights legislation, and more specifically, we'll look at the Spanish uh, legislation on this topic. We will see how this law tries to create the balance between these two elements, the author's rights or the creator's right to, uh, to be benefited from the use of their work, but also the right of everyone to access to culture and science and academic information. We will also see how this has transformed or how the publishing models have been transformed in the, la in the recent years from traditional publishing to uh, more increasing uh, open access in the last decade. In the Spanish uh, intellectual property rights law, there is, uh, we will see, according to this law, what is considered an author, what is considered a creator, what are their rights. In Spanish legislation, it is uh, distinguished between moral rights and patrimonial rights and what are the limits to these rights. And very interesting to us, as this is our topic, in the Article 32 of the Spanish law, uh, it is stated that citations, reviews, illustrations for educational purposes or scientific research are exempted from these rights. So uh, we can freely citate and uh, uh, review any document without infringing uh, the intellectual property rights. In the module you will also see what exactly is considered a work under Spanish uh, legislation, all these elements beyond books and uh, music compositions. There's also computer programs, for example, or databases or photographs. But you can, again, read more in detail in, in the module. And uh, in the last part we'll go to academic plagiarism, which is uh, again, one of the main ethical aspects of academic research. Just to have an, a clear definition of uh, plagiarism, this is a definition that we are taking from the Cambridge University. Plagiarism is to use another person's ideas or work and pretend that, is, that it is your own. This definition uh, uh, maybe can lead us to two kinds of plagiarism that we can identify, two kinds of academic plagiarism. And one is the one we may be thinking of, the basic one, which is the intentional plagiarism. I take something from somewhere and I pretend it's mine. But there is also the second one, which is very important as well, which is the unintentional plagiarism. Unintentional plagiarism is not uh, not mentioning correctly or at all a source by accident or by mistake but in the end you're basically committing the same, you're not uh, acknowledging the, 
the source. So it's very important to be very careful with, with this. Uh, we recommend always to, to review that you are uh, making reference to all the sources and do it in a standardized ma manner so you don't mis misquote or misidentify a document. If you want to go deeper into this topic, there is a video in Spanish in our YouTube channel about plagiarism, and it's very useful. Thank you very much for your attention, and I hope you like this video.